Oh, you can't really see me because of the flare. So about two, three weeks ago, I went to a Porsche event at Goodwood and somehow is one of my most viewed videos recently. And I thought, oh, I like Porsches. You guys like Porsches. And my lovely friend Alex popped up to me this morning and he said, Mike, there's an event, a Porsche. I'm gonna hold the camera here so you can see me a bit better. There's a Porsche get together after work, half an hour from my flat, uh, just near Cobham. And, uh, and he asked me, Mike, do you wanna come along? So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mike. You're watching Candy Show, and thanks for tuning in again. I'm with Alex. Uh, okay. We've just rocked up to the, the Fair Mile in Cobham. And if I flip the camera this way, what you should be able to see is a whole host of Porsches queuing up for a lovely Porsche get together in the sunset after work on a Wednesday. This is amazing. I've already seen a Carrera GT down there and a 996 GT2. And oh boy, I can already tell that to the this evening is going to fuel my need for a Porsche even more. So uh, yeah, we'll go. We'll get parked up uh, after these guys in front of us are done, and we'll go have a little look around, and probably probably get a pint as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'd be rude not to. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, right. Hang about. We'll see what we can find. Right, we've parked up. We're going to go inside to get a pint. But on the way to the pub, check this out. Absolutely stunning GT4 Cayman BBS 88, I think. Look at the chunky tyres up on that as well. It's manual. Half cloth, half leather interior, absolutely stunning. Alex, what do you think of this place? It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's I love so it. nice. You can't quite tell on camera because of the lighting; it's a bit funny. But this is a beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful sunset here today, and, uh, and yeah, we've got loads of Porsches to check out. There's so much here. I see a, I see a wing on a GT3, I think, down there, yellow one. There's a yellow boxer here. So this is, I think, I think I mentioned to you when I borrowed Andy's one. This is the colour I'd wanted. Uh, maybe not black wheels, not really my thing, but but this, what colour is this? It's not not speed yellow, what is it? No idea. It's like a slightly lighter one than speed yellow. It's awesome. Yeah, right, we're getting distracted by all this cool stuff. We want to get a pint. Let's go get a pint. GT3, absolutely, ah, oh, it's just dreamy stuff, isn't it? into the pub. This place is really cool. I want to do a mick on me here. We'll see what we can organise. Cool, we've got the pints. I'm gonna go head out. Look at this. Oh, it's actually awesome here. Um, I'm in love with this place. What a lovely, lovely evening. And there's still a fat Kia Porsche coming in. Jeez. That guy's getting a round of applause for bringing the old 930? 964? I don't think it's a 930, 930 is a turbo, that's just a cheap body. Very nice. We could stand here all afternoon long with a pint in your hand and you just have a rolling car show of things coming in. Awesome, beautiful stuff. We found a 996 cab. I am uh, really like these. My friend Garb hates them, I think they're absolutely stunning. This one's got a similar, well, same colour interior as Alex's Boxster. Yeah. Any thoughts, Alex? What are you seeing so far? That's differences? Very nice. Uh, no glove no box. No glove box. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's as if the vents are different on, yeah. the, on the early cars. Um, but apart from that, it has PCCM Plus, which is super nice. What's PCC? Uh, so it's the Porsche Communication Management. Okay, okay. And basically, it's a screen that looks retro. So yeah. You can have Apple Car. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard about it. Yeah. But, um, you, know, you get all the modern stuff, which is quite nice. Awesome. And, and yeah, those, you do get rear seats, although they're not really much use. You see how tiny they are behind the driver there. I saw a guy coming in a 997. Oh, okay. So I guess oh, there you put, go. Put someone in a yeah. pinch. But... Absolutely stunning. I mean, I don't know. You see, with, with other marks, with other brands, the car events do get a, bit, a little bit boring because it's just the same thing over and over again. Even the BM ones I go to. But this, I just, I just love it. I don't know. Yeah, it's stunning. Oh, and it's got the what wheels are they? They're like bronzy, goldy. It looks like bloody off-roading tyres though, look at that! <laughs> and what is this? Check this out, Alex. Oh. Is that a GT4 RS, maybe? Yeah, you can just hear them come in. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Look at that um, GT2 there as well. I think I think that one was at the um, Porsche event we went to, Alex. No, it was blue. 
There, well, there's, there's two there. There's a red one as oh, well. Oh, there's a red one. Yeah. Okay, I saw the blue. Alex and I have wandered into the, the center of the big the heavy hitters. It's a bloody Cura GT here. Look at that. It's got the same interior as your box, there, Alex. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. So, 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 so good. GT3 touring. 60 very fast years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, because it's their 60th anniversary of 911 this year, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so probably some Porsche marketing. I don't know if you did. You see the um, they made a video, an advert for the new 911 uh, TT. The okay. new thing they released, best advert ever. Honestly. I'll send you a link to it. It's so so good. Absolutely stunning. This is so cool. This guy rocking up in an old 911 full of kids as well with, with a single Recaro in it. What a legend. There's a few modified things. We'll go looking for them in a sec. Look at that thing with the ducktail. I wonder if that's, um, what's oh, it called? Yeah. It's like Club Sport inspired, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I doubt it's a proper Club Sport. You know, the effects of being uh, here for 15 minutes, you're already finding yourself checking out auctions to try and buy one. You gonna buy it? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you've enough of them down you, even enough yeah. of those pints. <laughs> Let's go have a look, Alex. Oh, there we go. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Convertible C4S. Lovely, lovely car. Love them. There's a modified one there. It's got uh, road forms on it, and it looks to be on air as well. One of the, uh, well, the only type of exhibition thing here is this uh, 997, oh, I don't know what it is, something, or rather race car thing. Absolutely love the uh, motorsport BBS. I can't tell you what they are, but uh, yeah, it just looks absolutely unreal. Oh, I'm gonna assume it's a GT G2 or G3 because it's got the front vents at the end of the bonnet. Very cool. More cars are still putting in. I'm gonna hazard a guess there's probably just as many, if not more, cars here than there were at the Flat Six show that I went to a couple of weeks back, and there's more GT2 911 996s. Sorry. Um, also, there's an absolutely stunning red box there in that corner there. We'll go have a look at it later. Early R Edge 2.5 with a brand interior, which is quite rare, and red paint, which is, in my opinion, uh, best colour on them. Alongside yellow, obviously. So, the car we came down in today is Alex's Boxster S uh, 3.2 silver over red interior. And this is a late car. This is, did you say it's a 2003? Yeah, 12, yeah. yeah. So, what, what year did they stop making 986? Uh, 04. I thought, well, there you go then. This is one of the one of the later ones. And I was just uh, saying to Alex, this is like the end boss 986 in my opinion, because it's got everything. It's got the aero kit, it's got the lightweight wheels, Boxster S, it's got the perfect, it's got the Carrera GT spec, which you'd like. And it's got all the uh, all the gizmos. Awesome car. Yeah. And it's reminded me of my time with Andy's one, which is terrible, because now I want one again. I've almost, almost... Forgotten how good Andy's one was, and then went out in this. And it's just, just a brilliant car, and there's loads of them here. I keep talking to people with these. I should stay away from them. Also, oh, the way down there you can't see, but uh, 993 turbos roll up, uh, rolled up. Sorry, from uh, Cas Cardio Security. So I'll go have a little look at that because that that has got proper proper wheel setup on that. And it's a little bit lower as well. Also. Just, I just something I love about Porsche is just the endless specs you get. Like BMWs do spec well, but these guys just take it up a notch. So many rare colours. Look at this. This is stunning. It's like a what is that? That's like a beigey grey, a grey beigey. Yeah. Absolutely lovely. There's a there's another nine. I don't call it a nine thirty. I can't remember what it is. Just there's another G body down there somewhere. We'll go have a look with a dateless reg on it, and that's like a, a rose red silver. That's red. Cassis red. There you go. Yeah, stunning car. Alex and I have just spent five minutes talking about this absolutely stunning red C4S. I think, from memory, this is the one that went out on track at, at um, Flat Six Show. Thank you for you keep reminding me. I keep forgetting the name of it. But yeah, this one went out at Flat Six, and uh, yeah, it's just stunning. It's a little bit lower on the five focus. Man, I keep hearing noises. More and more things are coming in. What was that? I think I think I saw a turbo badge on the back of it, Alex. Yeah, and I could hear a little blow-off valve thing as it went past. Well, it'll come in, we'll have a little look. Yeah, another Boxster. So, there we go, this is pretty much what I borrowed. One of these, and this, this and pretty much this spec. Um, oh, good time. I feel like that person who's hung up on their ex. You know, someone you have 
and it vanishes and you keep reminiscing on the good times. And hey, those four days with my Boxster, with Andy's Boxster, oh, a good four days. And it's got the, uh, the Ambers as well. Stunning car. I really like them. Really, really like them. Oh, everywhere you look, there's something to look at, honestly. Where do we, where do we go from here, Alex? There's so much. Yeah. So I think the only bagged car here is this Cayman. Uh, me and Alex are trying to look at it. Do you, do you, do you understand why people do this? I like it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I like it, yeah. Yeah. To watch, like, so well and all oh, yeah. Oh, this guy knows then. Yeah, yeah of yeah. course, of course. I actually met Alex. I met Alex for his old car, he, and he had an E21, and I used it in Speed Hunter's article, uh, my ULEZ article, because um, his car's ULEZ exempt from being old. And yeah, so Alex is clued up on the old I modified started, stuff. Yeah, it was oh, I see, I see, I see. What did you have? I had a Jetta, one by okay. Turbo. Nice, I didn't yeah. Have bags. I didn't have that much money. It was nah, nah, that's fair enough. Did you lower it though, or did you just enjoy it as it was? I just enjoyed it as it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, um, that, to be fair, my first car was uh, it was an old Polo, and I couldn't afford to do anything to it, so I just left expensive. it standing. It was expensive. expensive yeah. yeah, I mean, was this back in Guatemala? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I had an old three Jetta, one point eight turbo, so Mark. Oh, cool! Jetta. Yeah, 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 yeah. They uh, they're nippy, but man, yeah, like they're quick they're cars. Quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wanted a GTI, but my father was like, you, "You're never getting a two door car." So I got why a Jetta. Not, why not a two door car? Because he said it was unpractical. Uh, I don't know. He didn't want yeah. to. Uh, well, look at you now, mate, in a boxster. It's yeah. <laughs> <So>, like a convertible two-seater. There yeah. you go. <laughs> yeah. An accident to the this is kind of interesting. This is a GT3 with 997 style uh, tail lights and a duck tail. Oh, that's look at the interior on that. That's nuts. My mate's got it. It's a complicated story. I'm going to and they're the uh, GT3 wheels with colour-coded centres. There you go. It's got loads of stuff in this, Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Is it carbon, did you say? It looks carbon, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you can kind of see that there. Yeah, very cool. I, uh, not, I, I, I'm not, I don't like, um, making cars look newer than they are. So the face of tail lights are not really for me, but, but hey, it's a yellow GT3. Like, what's not to like? Yeah. Carbon fibre duct, uh, carbon fibre duct as well, yeah. And the GT3 was. Interesting. And it's got the seats, yeah, cage in the rear. Have you seen the interior on it? Yeah, 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 I've seen it before. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Oh, I just can't see anything because of the reflection, but I promise viewers, it's it's there somewhere. The sun, the sun has nearly set on this beautiful, beautiful evening. And uh, it sounded quite, sounded quite poetic. Anyway, we, me and Alex are caught up with a, have a friend. Before that, we were looking at this uh, green over tan GT3 Touring, and I'm pretty sure featured this car in Mikkel before. Put the post here. Dino took these photos, and I wrote a whole piece about what I think about green over tan. And as annoying as green over tan is, it just does look stunning. You can't lie to you, it's absolutely beautiful. Again, probably can't see much because of reflections in the sun, but, but yeah. Also, I will be upgrading this whole camera eventually. Be speaking to my parents and Christmas is coming up so maybe they can sort me out with something we'll see yeah things are starting to leave things are starting to leave oh there's a original Boxster down there oh yeah 914 the yellow yeah. one let's go have a little look so I just came to have a closer look at this it's a 9146 six cylinder in yellow these are extremely rare as far as I'm aware because uh, it's a six cylinder six cylinder 914 as opposed to the uh, four pods very cool, very rare. And a yellow Boxster, modern one, just drive past. Got a lovely little photo of them, two together. Cool cars. This is really, I'm pretty sure this is either restored or like immaculately kept because there's nothing wrong with this car. Usually when you see a 914, they're a little bit baggy, there I say it, but this is, this is like new. It's actually really nice seeing a, a really fresh one. And there's a little speaker playing some music in there. Get away from that before I get a copyright claim from a, from some horrible company. Psst. What do you think? <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? <laughs> what a pair of special cars. Look at that. Awesome. I think I'd have the 997 personally. 
Not, not that I can be picky at all. This is stunning as well in blue. There's the uh, Cass 903, look at that. On well, the split rotor forms. Absolutely stunning car. Such a beautiful, beautiful car. Yeah. Stunning. Look at all these Porsches, there's so many. Obviously, we're a bloody Porsche. Right, I'm gonna leave it here, guys, just because uh, it's a Wednesday evening and it's gonna kind of chill. Maybe have another one of these with Alex. Um, quite a short video today, but just a little insight into what happened. Where even are we? The Fair, the Fair Mile. I'm just trying to get a glimpse of that pub name there. The Fair Mile. What a lovely, lovely evening. I want to use this location for a nickel meet, maybe, so keep your eyes peeled. Um, yeah, as always, I'll be Mike, keep you watching Candy Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Lots of love. See you in the next one. Also, up here, there'll be two videos for you to check out. Have a look. You might like one of them. In fact, that one there will be another Porsche video. Enjoy.